I stood in the doorway of that factory. I knew I was free, but somehow the reality of it, uh, you know, I prayed for it for six years, in every waking hour. And I, I couldn't, I couldn't absorb the wonder of, of perhaps freedom until a crushing, almost overwhelming joy by seeing a strange car coming down a hill. No longer green, the white star of the American army on its hood and two men in unfamiliar uniforms sat in it. I stood in the doorway and one of them, we gathered him to be Americans, jumped out and he came toward me. One of, of those men that sat in that jeep came toward me. And I was looking at him with incredible awe and disbelief. But I was looking at someone who fought for us. Of course, I was terribly frightened what, you know, what his reaction would be if I tell him we are Jewish. But I felt him I had to tell him. So I looked at him and I said, we are Jewish, you know. He didn't answer me, which seemed to me eternity. And then he said, so am I. This was the greatest moment of my life. And he asked an incredible question. He asked if he could see the other ladies. Obviously a form of address we hadn't known and heard. And I told him that most of the girls were inside. They were too ill to walk. He asked me to come with him. I didn't know what he meant. He held the door open for me and let me proceed him. And restored me to humanity again. And he has been holding the door open for me now for 50 years, my husband. His name? Kurt Klein.